Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing great. And my name is Rajesh and today I am going to continue the same topic what we had discussed in our last video like entity and entity entity extraction model custom entity extraction model or sometimes people used to call it as a ner as well name entity recognition and i had already discussed what is the benefit of that what is the important of this internet entity classification model and how to implement that the same thing i'm going to discuss in today's session so i have created already the steps what we have to do so these are the following steps which we are going to follow up like uh, first thing is that to, in order to perform the create an entity extraction model we have to prepare our data set on which we have to train our model then second convert our unlabeled data into a specially understandable model like we are going to create a model we are going to train the model with the help of the spacey and then label la label your data set using the label studio and yeah if you want to label the data and you, there is a lot of tools are available prodigy is there but it's a paid tool label studio and many more are there you can do the labeling by own uh, manually that is also way you can do but but as of now what is my understanding is that label studio is doing the well job here so if something is already available then why we should do the manually that's the one thing right so behalf of that we can do that labeling of our own data set using the label studio i will show you how to install the label studio in local system that is the part of this uh, uh, video and then we'll we'll try to import our custom data set train data set uh, in the label studio and then we'll try to label it out and then we will try to export the data set in the spacey understandable format hope we understood the agenda what is that and then in the next video i will show you how to use how to start the training pipeline right so without getting delay, let's understand this part first and then we'll see. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, hope you guys can see my screen, right? So this is a label studio uh, website from where you can install the label studio. It's a very simple how we are installing the any kind of PIP package like PIP install label studio. I always recommend create a separate environment altogether. And then on top of that, you just install this label studio. So this is the command like PIP install label studio. And then if you want to start your level, once the label in studio is installed, uh, is I already running that. So let me stop the server. So let me clear this. Okay, so now if you once your label studio has been installed, then how to launch the label studio? Just do label studio and this. So now label studio will be start on this particular server or on the particular port. Just to wait for a minute. Uh, okay, now my label studio got started. You can see this is the IP address on which label studio has been started. And you can see I have created two projects right now, right? It's just an interface. We have created two projects of the label studio. So one project is entity, another is entity labeling. This is a two project I have been created right now, so far, so forth. So uh, like we are going to create a press project for the labeling job. Number one project is that for to do these things, first create, cre create a new project. So here I'm going to give the project name as uh, I can give the custom NER, custom NER and description optional uh, you can give any description this is this is the description 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 of this is the description i'm um, sorry my spelling might be mistake D -S -C -R -I -P -T -I -O -N. description of or you can say sample description sample D -S -C -R -I -P -T -I -O -N description sample description or you can do that thing and then data import so here is the data set url you can you can import the data from anywhere or if, if you are importing from report you can pass this url here or else you can import the data uh, directly by clicking on upload the file so my data is already available you can see uh, i should have uh, uh, one minute entity extraction i am in that uh -huh, yeah there is a data set this is the crypto dot text you can see this is a crypto dot text is there so just do these things importing i'm just importing the data set it's getting import wait a while and uh, it's a list of tasks and you can just check this checkbox that's fine and then labeling setup okay so here you can see uh, natural language processing and uh, computer conventional conversational ai uh, kind of thing so let me check the 
uh, this NER name entity recognition. This is that, and here we can add our own labels, right? So if if you want to see our data set, how our data set is look like. So here is the crypto dot text data set is there. So you can see this is the data set is there, and in that data set, what are the things we have to identify? Because I already discussed about the what is the intent, what is the entity. Intent is the workflow. Entity is that in that workflow, what are the things we have to extract? First thing is that it's a cryptocurrency. Is the kind of currency type, right? So we can add this uh, inside of our label like uh, currency type, currency type, or you can see you can add whatever you want to add. Currency type. Next is that Bitcoin. Bitcoin is something like a, it's a kind of organization, right? So organization is already we have, and then this is what this is the amount, right? So we should identify the amount as well. So once we add it, add it. See, you can see that that label has been added here. So now we have a currency. So currency. So amount actually should not be a currency. It should be amount. It should be amount. So we have added this amount. The once the amount has been added, then what are the things is there? You can see percentage is also there. This is something is percentage, right? So we can add this percentage. So percentage we have been added. Next is what percentage we have added, and lot of things. What what you feel like that you have to extract from this data set? You guys can add here, and that's fine. So once we have been added all the things, what are the things we can do? Um, I think we are pretty much good, and now we can save these things. Okay, so we saved it. So now our data set has been ready. So once this is ready, without doing the labeling, just do export without doing labeling. So here is the format which Spacey understand because we are doing training on the Spacey algorithm. So Spacey only understand this format, like this 2003 format. So that, there is a lot of format, but I. I have gone through the Spacey documentation training pipeline. So in that they have mentioned this format only. So now you can export this data set without doing labeling. First, without doing labeling, and I am going to store inside of my download. And here I am going to give the name as a project uh, YouTube custom entity extraction. Okay, so I feel like this we are good and we are going to save it. Okay, so once we have been saved, that that project has been saved. Now what we can do just stop this thing. Now our job is to labeling the things. So in order to do the labeling, what we can do just click on this. Okay, wait a minute. Just uh, uh, okay. Yeah, here. So we under we we reach into the first number line, and this is we have to identify this cryptocurrency is what organization you. As up to you, what you are going to label. That's up to you. Okay, this is the currency type, or you can say this is the amount. I think so. It should be amount. It should come into the like this. We are doing the labeling. Okay, so once we have done the labeling amount, and this should be the percentage, and uh, percentage I am going to identify this, and this is the percentage, and this is also amount. I feel like okay, this is also amount, and I am going to identify these things. And once it is done, you submit your label. Okay, so second time, what will come? So next, next things will come into the picture like <clears throat> this. Actually, you can see in this uh, text data. So after every line, there is one enter blank line is there, right? So we should not means Actually, we should remove this empty line. But as we consider that let it to be next time, you just whenever you guys will do, you guys can do these things. And here also you can do the labeling like this. First, we have to identify the percentage, and then percentage we are going to identify this as a percentage like this. And the second time we are going to identify this is the amount and amount we are going to identify like this amount. Uh, first select the amount and then select this like this amount has been there. Like this you can do the labeling once that like I feel like six to seven um, uh, uh, lines are there. You just guys can do that and once submit that everything is done. Then what to do? <clears throat> what to do? Just come to the label studio and uh, uh, projects. Come to the project and here is the option. So just go to this, and once the labeling has been done, and you can see here who have been annotated. It's showing my name, like Rajesh Thakur. It's been annotated. If you are going to work in a team, so different person can do the labeling, and all those things will come into the picture. These things, and then once the labeling has been done, you can do the export again in the same format. Like what we have done without labeling. So this is that, and export it, and it will save it out. Like so, I'm going to save. Okay, I'm going to save project three. Project three, 
with label with label and yeah going to save it it's save going to save in download so once this part has been saved then we have to trigger our training pipeline right so that part i will i hope you understood this part like uh, how we can do the uh, export the data in the label studio and how we can do the labeling and how we can export the data in the form of the spacey understandable format right so hope you understand lot of things in the label studio and if you guys are facing any kind of issue please do comment over the video so that we can we can address your concern and we can able to help you out and happy to help you out so with this i'm going to wrap it up this video otherwise this video will be will be a bit large so next video i will do start training pipeline i'll do the custom training i'll do the inferencing and we'll create a, a web app so with this thank you guys thank you for watching it we'll meet in the next video thank you